What's up guys, Kevin here from Snowboard Pro Camp. In this video, I wanna share with you my top 10 tips for filming with a GoPro. I've filmed the majority of the videos on my channel with the GoPro because it takes great quality video, it's safe for filming in all weather conditions, and it's durable in case of a crash or fall. If you wanna get the best possible shots out of your GoPro, then I think these 10 tips will help. The first tip is to pick up a selfie stick or pole to mount the GoPro to. With a pole, you'll get a great shot of yourself or you can quickly turn the camera around to film your friends. The pole is a great tool because it allows you to get so many different types of shots, but also the length of the pole will help to take away any shakiness and smooth out the look of your shots. One of the most important tips for filming is to make sure you have a couple extra batteries with you. There's nothing worse than getting out for a day of filming and having your GoPro die in the first hour. I always keep at least two extra fully charged batteries on me, especially in cold conditions where batteries drain fast. The third tip is to set the frame rate on the GoPro. For slow motion shots, you wanna set your frame rate to 60 frames per second or higher. This will allow you to slow down the video and editing and have a smooth looking slow motion shot without any skipping. For regular shots, film at 24 or 30 frames per second and you'll have good quality video without filling up your memory card too quick. Next, you want to make your video interesting for the viewer by getting as many angles as possible. Then when it comes time to edit your video clips together, you'll have lots of different shots to choose from. This keeps your audience interested by cutting to different angles and giving them the full perspective of your surroundings. If you want great sound for your GoPro videos, I suggest picking up an external microphone. The GoPro housing can muffle sounds. So if you want to have people talking in your video, when you're going into a jump to do a backflip, you want to make sure. Or the sound effects from tricks, pick up a cheap external mic. My setup for sound is to have the GoPro mounted to a monopod with an external mic on top then I can record sound and sync it up in post-production. When filming other people with the GoPro, it's important to get up close. The GoPro has a fisheye lens, which gives you a very wide angle. This allows you to get a lot into a frame from up close, but from far away, the fisheye lens can make things look distant and smaller than they are. It's very popular to mount the GoPro to your helmet, and that's great if your hands aren't free to hold the camera, but if you have the option, I don't recommend using a helmet mount because the footage can often look shaky and be disorienting for people to watch. Check regularly that the lens on the GoPro is clean. Often when filming outside in the elements, you can get dirt or water on the lens and even a small amount can ruin a shot. Especially after you had a fall, check the lens and give it a quick wipe to make sure you're getting a clear shot. Something that takes a bit of practice with the GoPro is framing the shot. For example, for filming snowboarding, you want to keep the snowboard in frame, and a good rule is to point the GoPro at the rider's thighs. It's disappointing if at the end of a day, you're watching your videos back and notice you've cut out the most interesting part. Be selective when filming with your GoPro. It's very tempting to just let the GoPro record all day, but then you're left with hours of footage to sort through. Try to only film what you think are the most interesting shots and you'll save yourself a lot of time editing the video later. So I hope these 10 tips will help you film great GoPro videos. If you wanna share any of your videos with me, connect on Instagram and tag me in the video. If you have any more questions about filming or if there's any tips that I missed, you can leave them in the comments below. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you out. Have fun out there filming guys and I'll see you in the next video.